द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी राजीव चंद्रशेखर रिसेंटली टोल द पार्लियामेंट दैट इंडिया विटनेस्ड वन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मिलियन साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंसिडेंट लास्ट ईयर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट टू प्राइवेट सेक्टर टू इंडिविजुअल ऑल आर वालनरेबल टू सच अटैक्स ड्यू टू इंक्रीज डिजिटल अडोप्शन वन सच अटैक ब्रॉथ द कंट्रीज मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड हेल्थ इंस्टीट्यूशन एम्स टू इट्स नीज लास्ट डिसम्बर रिपोर्ट क्लेम दैट द हेडर्स ऑफ फाइल्स दैट वर इनक्रिप्टेड बाई हैकर्स ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम हॉन्गकॉन्ग एंड चाइना The dark world of hackers operating domestically and offshore is also getting bigger, more coordinated, sophisticated and ambitious too. Cyber security firm Casper Sky recently claimed that cyber criminals are offering up to 16 lakh rupees per month to IT engineers to work for them. Employers on the dark web are desperately looking for highly skilled workforce, so are those on the other side. There are 12-15, you know, zones and genres of uh, cyber security threats that attack and uh... there are different uh, uh, ways in which the in- industry responds to it but in all there is no end to the number of uh, varieties in which a cyber threat can occur and the cyber security attacks are getting a lot more creative than what they were earlier at a time when major it companies have hit the pause button on hiring or have delayed the onboarding of new talents due to global economic slowdown cyber security space is driving the job creation for engineers According to the Internet and Mobile Association of India, 900 million people will be using the internet by 2025 and 346 million people in India already use online mode for money transactions. And with the adoption of 5G, the country will need far better cybersecurity and privacy practices. According to specialist staffing firm Exfino's report, the volume of active accessible talent in the cybersecurity and privacy space has significantly grown by over 40% over the last 2 years. There are several types of experts in the fields like application security experts, cloud security experts, etc. At present, 2.6 lakh accessible talent is available in the cybersecurity and privacy sector. But are these numbers enough for India? there is a huge demand supply issue currently in play and like i told you these experts are very rare to come by particularly the ones that you want to have multiple skill sets are very rare to come by but then there is like i said the 260000 people that we have or 270 at this point in time that is not sufficient there are about 20000 active openings at, as we talk there in the cyber security space where there is demand which means people who are currently already operating and uh, having a an active job are already being paid well and they've been retained really well by the by the company we are clearly seeing an 80 to 90000 kind of uh, supply shortage as we are looking particularly in the 5g scenario that you rightly pointed tarik the need for cyber security guys will will become almost three times or four times what you currently have because the the sheer spread of the solution that you will be getting you know every device is going to be connected multiple users there could be five six devices per connected devices per individual that you need to manage which means the threat potential multiplies that many fold so what is the solution we spend less than 1% on cyber security or invest less than 1% uh, on cyber security in terms of our overall spending on e-commerce so which speaks for itself and this problem has accumulated over years and i think uh, organizations like microsoft which is uh, obviously a multinational organization working in the tech sector the government itself and also the educational institutions uh, we need a multi pronged approach from each of these uh, stakeholders to uh, you know on a very urgent basis on a war footing try and address this whether uh, on the part of government it's uh, trying to provide incentives to organizations to invest in cyber security maybe giving tax holidays or you know treating it as a csr activity whatever the government comes up with these kind of schemes or on part of organizations in terms of trying to make it a part of their induction program a part of their regular training program to uh, educate and uh, train their staff on cyber security issues and obviously in the society in general and educational institutions i think everything begins there so in terms of sensitizing students in terms of sensitizing college going uh, young youngsters uh on handling various cyber security issues or cy- having a as they call it cyber security hygiene or a good cyber security hygiene um i think uh, that's what we need to develop and that's what we need to uh, really invest in and that's the need of the hour
Clearly, all the stakeholders have to ramp up efforts to deal with the increasing threat of cyber attacks. It will not just save us from unwanted hassles, but will also create more avenues for young engineering talents who have so far looked towards IT giants for jobs. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.